from the faraway land of Polyvania in the year 2000, an urgent call speeds to the island home of Dr. Bob Brilliant. Hi. Shortwave radio. Calling Dr. Bob Brilliant. This is Dick Strong. Calling Dr. Bob Brilliant. Hi, it's Dickie Strong calling me from Polyvania. Yes, Dick. Bob Brilliant. What's happening? Checking to see if everything's all right. Dick, of course we're all right. What could possibly be wrong now that our friend Spider's out of the way? We defeated him. Captain Spider's back in Polyvania. You are too. And we thought that fiend was through. Dick, we thought Spider was finished in a huge explosion on Snake Island. Apparently he escaped. He's returned now and in full control. He and his army have taken over the royal palace. All those against him, including the king and queen, have been taken as prisoners. The flag of Polyvania has been replaced by the flag of the spider. The people here are terrified of this man, wondering... Wait. Someone's coming. I'll call you later. Come on, man. Hurry! Everybody outside! Fall in! On the devil! You two, fall in! On the devil! for one of you men to volunteer for duty at the back. Sir, by bat, do you mean bat cave? That's right. Sergeant, do you know that no one ever left that cave alive? I know that you're all a bunch of chickens. Why, Captain Spider himself uses that cave now for a very important purpose, and there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Captain Spider uses the cave. I don't know what he's doing in there, but here's a chance to find out. Sarge, I volunteer for that duty. Good boy, right this way. Oh, jeez. In the cave, Spider's prisoner, Dr. Emeritus. That light, power failure? Don't tell anyone I told you, but I understand Captain Spider is conducting some kind of secret experiment that needs more electricity than this country has. Oh, experiment? I don't know what it is, but it must be something big. Sounds as though they're launching a missile. Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken, they just launched a nuclear warhead. How are we supposed to cook? Yeah, it's tough, all right. Whoop, there goes all the power. What are they up to? Who cares? They ruined my lunch and boil. To fire it, we must have another 50,000 volts of electricity. Then get it, you fool! Get it? You can it. Hello? Hello? Power supply? We need all the volts that you got. Ready, Captain Spider. All right, locate the target and fire. Four, three, two, one, fire. Target number two. No question that with this invisible ray gun, you can bring the whole world to its knees. Sergeant, can't you understand that at this stage we have to cut off all the electricity in the country for three hours just to fire the gun once? But with Dr. Emeritus' invention, Super Elect, I could fire a million times and more in seconds. Then we just must get our hands upon that invention, correct? 
You said it. Yes, we have to get our hands on that invention, and I think I can do it. Dr. Emeritus, my name is Dick Strong. Bob Brilliant asked me to come. My job is to get you out of here. Bob Brilliant? But you hear something? Spider, we'll talk later. Wait, Dr. Emeritus, no! I fear there was little choice, for I must prepare myself for that awful device he uses to force one to talk. But that pill you took... Don't worry, it isn't anything poisonous. All it does is temporarily numb your brain. Spider, I told you a long time ago that my invention, Super Elect, will be used only for good purposes, not evil purposes. You see, Dr. Emeritus, hey, put the helmet on him. He'll draw. No, no, take the thing away. <laughs> Your wish is my command. You will draw the blueprint. I will draw the blueprint. What could have happened to Dick Strong? He was supposed to have established radio communications yesterday. He probably hasn't had the opportunity to be alone, that's all. Remember, he's with Captain Spider. Hope he's safe, and Dr. Emeritus as well. Hey, Rini? my services at that cave just weren't needed anymore. I suppose they're going to hold more experiments. They finally broke down Dr. Emeritus. These are the computer symbols. Computer symbols? Circus for transistors. Circus for transistors. Cathode ray resistors. Cathode ray resistors. Maxine Laverne are sisters. Maxine Laverne are sisters. Calluses and blisters. Calluses and blisters. The blueprint's finished. Excellent. But this mad blueprint, sir, won't work. Why not? Because, sir, there's no such thing as a Maxine Laverne or a blister resistor. I'm afraid, Captain, that Dr. Emeritus has flipped his lid. He has flipped his lid? He's lost his marble. All right, Dr. Emeritus, you may have outfoxed me once again. But no one outsmarts me very long. I get your invention, Super Elect, or I'm not the spider. Captain of Grey Shark, yes? Spider speaking. Captain Spider, yes, sir. Get from his laboratory an invention called Super Elect at once. All hands, stand by at once to submerge. Full speed ahead, dive! Bob Brilliant's house, all are asleep. In one bedroom, Rini Emeritus, daughter of Dr. Emeritus. He has sent her from Polyvania with his invention, Super Elect. Only Rini's pet monkey, Coco, hears the enemy approaching.
Wait, Coco, what is this? How'd they know that? I can hold them off with this rifle, Dad, till Jimmy and Inspector Blooper get here. Hold it, son. If anything should happen to Rini, it would break Dr. Emeritus's poor heart. All right, Rini, it's your time is up. And that's your final answer, huh? Fire! Hey, did you hear that, Jim? Hurry up. Yes, sir. <sighs> oh, so you want to get rough, do you? So, so. <sighs> Fellas, you just saved more than you know. Yeah, then you're all okay. Nobody was injured. Buttons, brilliant, greedy, and faithful Lotus. Perhaps the Coast Guard can protect the island against any more submarine attacks, Dr. Brilliant. Good idea, Jim. I'll notify them at once. A new day dawns on the island home of Bob Brilliant. Morning slips quietly away. Afternoon, and all is calm. But that night... to their eyes appear. Say, Jim, it's late. Okay, now. <laughs> Next step. Yeah, Very funny. funny. So what? I don't make the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gentlemen, there's bad news tonight. From the tiny land of Polyvania comes word that Captain Spider will release Dr. Emeritus only if the invention Super Elex is returned at once. This powerful generator could enable Spider to take over the world. Government leaders are considering Spider's demands. Don't see what there is to argue about. They say no to Spider and that's that. But they simply can't back out. Dr. Emeritus' life could depend upon it. That's a bluff. Inspector, you never know. Spider's a dangerous man. I'm in favor of giving him the invention. Now, look. I know we have to save a life, but, Jim, what do you think Spider would do with that device? Then you think we should risk a man's life? Yeah, I didn't say that. My goodness, Jimmy Spock. What a choice. Uncle Bob, have they decided yet? To me, it's easy. You have to save Dr. Emeritus, even if you have to lose the Super Elect. Is that so? Jimmy, put yourself in Dr. Emeritus's position and see if that's the same course you would take. I'm afraid I don't get it. The doctor would give his life to keep Super Elects away from Spider. He would? He would. Any conscientious scientist would do the same thing. Does that mean you're leaving the doctor's life at Spider's mercy? The answer is no. My goodness, young man, we want to save him, too. That's why we were arguing so many hours. Doctor, machines can always be remade again and again, but you can't remake a man's life. And that night, at Bob Brilliant's house... This is Spider speaking, Dr. Brilliant. Hope you're watching. I wait no longer. Unless you deliver super relaxed by sunset to a spot three miles from your island, you will be responsible for what happens to the life of your good friend, Dr. Emeritus. <gasps> Dad, the Super Alex is missing. Wow, must be Spider's gang. How'd they break in? This isn't the work of a gang. It's Jimmy Sparks. What? Oh, you don't mean you really believe the lad committed an act like that? Yes, I'm sure. Jimmy did it. He thinks that Spider will keep his word to exchange the doctor for Super Elex. Right. I'd better follow him. Here's the Super Elect. After them! No one can make a 
with him. Hmm? Well, how do you like that? He's got Dr. Emeritus. Go, Gigantor. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, if you think your few little drops of water can keep the spider down, you've got the rocks in the head. You haven't seen the last of me and my super elect yet. Hit! Hurt! Hurt! 